that make sense? Okay. Apple, Comcast, and the majority of your companies. Right? Okay, so what separates a brand that you really know and love from a brand that you really know and don't love? One thing. Experience. Almost. But what's the difference between Apple and Comcast? When it boils down to it. Service? Yep. Emotion. Promises. A promise broken. One company keeps its promises and the other doesn't, right? What's the difference between that third category of company and a company like Apple? Let's say everybody that knows you loves you. Problem is not enough people know you. All right? LinkedIn has 300 million users. Uh, anybody surprised to hear that? Yeah, May 1st, the numbers came out, 300 million users. A little behind Facebook at 1.3 billion, but still not a... Not a, not a small pool to play in, all right? So the majority of your companies, I'm assuming, are business to business. Do you sell business services or do you sell uh, consumer products or services? Raise your hand if you sell to businesses, all right? Raise your hand if you sell to consumers. And raise your hand if you sell to the government or nonprofit organizations. All right, wow, more than I thought, all right. Basically, O to B, organization to business, or B to B, business to business, are the companies that usually effectively leverage LinkedIn better, okay? And the question we're asking ourselves today is, how do I make more money on LinkedIn, okay? The other thing that separates companies number three from the other companies is companies like Apple brand themselves. Companies like Comcast market themselves. And number three category companies don't understand the difference between sales and marketing. They mix those two words together. Do you have anybody in your organization that has marketing or a title in their fundamental job as sales? It happens a lot because we don't understand the difference. There is a process to it. Branding, marketing, sales. It's in that order. You can't put one in front of the other these days. All right. LinkedIn, I believe, is a marketing tool, not a sales tool. If you get on LinkedIn to start selling people things, you're not going to have very many friends. The object of social media is to turn friends, is, is to turn customers into friends, not the other way around. We don't, we don't want to approach our friends and try to turn them into customers, right? So it really is a social network in that respect. Because it is a business network, people think that they can somehow violate those rules. First, it's a business and professional network. Um, when you reach the 500 connection level, it says you have 500 plus. I have 3,383 people connected to me on LinkedIn. I know. <laughs> and it's not because I'm a really nice guy. Yes, you are, Dave. It, oh, thank you very much. It's actually just because I've done a lot of work on this over the years. When I meet someone, whether they've done business with me or not, I get uh, there and as part of my regular follow-up, I connect to them on LinkedIn. Rule number one for me is, I have to have done this in real life in order to connect with you on LinkedIn. Rule number one, don't connect to people that you have not met in real life. Okay? Then the value of your network is really not much. I've been surprised over the last 10 years that I've actually met 3,383 people, but somehow I have. One of the easiest ways to get connected to people on LinkedIn is to stand in front of groups like this and say, connect to me on LinkedIn. <laughs> But that's usually that option is not available to most people. What I try to do is teach people to go to their closest circle first and connect to your friends and family members, the ones that you know most in life, the ones that you've done this most with, and make sure you type their name in. LinkedIn is a search engine. At the very top it says you can search for people, jobs, companies, and more. LinkedIn is now the number four search engine. The number one search engine is Google. Number two search engine is YouTube. Three is Bing, four is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is now being used as a search engine. So people are trying to find, in that order, people, jobs, companies, and more. If you're in transition, LinkedIn is a great way to connect to people because really a lot of the uh, jobs that require five or more years worth of um, In LinkedIn, the other thing that I find really, really helpful when companies, uh, I mean, when people are using it is, if you think about what I said a few minutes ago, branding, marketing, and then sales, using it to personally brand yourself as an expert first is your number one priority in LinkedIn. So 
You want to connect to like-minded people, authorities, okay, and you want to answer questions and connect to groups. And when you do that, you can be seen as authority, not only in the search engine, but among your friends. Um, there is a guy in Roanoke who ran John Edwards' campaign a few years ago. His name is Dave Saunders. He appears on MSNBC all the time. His, name, his middle name is Mudcat. Anybody ever heard of him? Dave Mudcat Saunders. There's also a country singer. There's an English soccer player. And I found out that there are 5,300 Dave Saunders in the United States. I know. I know. That's a lot of them. I know. The, the, the cool thing, though, is when you type my name into Google, I'm number one. And part of that is because I have 3,000, you know, 383 connections on LinkedIn. And my personal profile will pop up on page one of Google. So for personal branding, personal awareness, it's a way to kind of separate you from the pack. For marketing your company, one of the easiest, most often overlooked things is if you actually went above here and you clicked on Madison Maine, you'll see actually a company page there. The biggest mistake I see companies using is they don't, people don't connect to the companies that they're actually representing. You have a company and it's comma LLC and you have another company and it's this and whatever. And in here, if you actually don't connect to Madison, no space, plus sign Maine, you're not going to be on our company page. That's the first thing that we do when you sign up with the company. We want to make sure that you are linked back to the company. From a marketing perspective as well, you can actually use advertising through LinkedIn to reach your target market. Um, and this is probably something not discussed today, but one of the things I think in terms of marketing yourself and making money through LinkedIn is connecting to customers. The majority of you probably have the free account, right? How many of you have the free? How many of you actually upgraded to $19.99 a month? All right. I highly recommend it. It's $240 a year to reach almost 300 million people. It's the cheapest form of advertising you could ever possibly get. And I get no commission from LinkedIn whatsoever. But I've been paying for it for over five years. And in my inbox this morning, I have 17 people who want to connect to me. That's how that network grows, is being there uh, and also connecting to a variety of companies. So if you have a, a company, you say, well, I'm, um, uh, I'm selling to the government or nonprofit organizations. Let's say that you have a, a variety of those organizations that you'd like to target. Uh, how many of you are members of the Virginia Council of CEOs? Anybody here? All uh, right. Pretty small group, CEOs, $5 million um, companies and up. Um, how many members? About 200 members, I think it is now. Um, they advertise through LinkedIn just to anybody that has CEO or president in the title. They spend $350 a month, and they average one CEO a month. $5,000 membership, $350 expense. Not a bad value, right? All right. So using LinkedIn also for advertising, too. With your company, it's something that I highly recommend. Think about a minute left. I'll just say, three. Dick. Three. I have three? Well, wow. I will yield the balance of my time to the distinguished gentlelady from Midlothian. How's that? <laughs> <laughs>